Hello everybody, welcome to my home. Today I wanted to show you a quick, 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 quick video on how to remove a gas stove. It's a gas range. Uh, right now, I am uh, getting rid of this uh, Frigidaire Professional Series gas range in favor of a uh, Kenmore Elite. The reason I am getting rid of it is because this control panel under the circuit board uh, under this there is a circuit board and it's burnt and to replace that is about 600 bucks and um, it has its fair share of usage and I decided you know what I'm just gonna rip off the band-aid and get rid of it so what you do is first pull it off from the location and before you touch anything you go down to the basement and find where the gas line is coming from and there by the North American code there has to be a shut off valve turn that valve off you have to do it or else it becomes very dangerous you're gonna have a massive gas leak in your house and it's not pretty okay so what after you have done that you come upstairs and uh, you take uh, ideally if you have <clears throat> two pieces of adjustable wrench that's ideal because uh, you need to hold on one and hook up the other one like I have over here because the 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 receiver unit if I just try using one it, it is just too weak for that so I did I, I already loosened it so all I have to do is just turn it with my hand and unplug it. If you can notice, it's a flared hose right now. That's, that is the code. And <clears throat> it is also highly recommended to change this uh, flex pipe. They are very inexpensive. Every time you change your range hold, uh, it's very recommended to change it. And sometimes over the years, these pipe generates leak and whatnot. It's not pretty, it's 20 bucks get it out of your way put a new one in money will will spent if you have any questions leave it in the comment section and please uh, subscribe to my channel thanks